Hello again and welcome to the Master's Voice. I am Celestial and you are welcome to this channel. To old and new subscribers, you are very welcome. Please adjust your settings by looking above or at the bottom until you see a cog icon and then click advanced or higher quality and bump the video up to 720 or 1080p so that you have a clear picture to work with. I am continuing with the sin series and recently I received an urgent word from the Lord. This is not a new word. It's not a new theme. It is the theme of foreign invasion to the United States, but this time the Lord brought the word with an increased urgency. Um, this is not to say that the, the, the urgency is because this is happening tomorrow, but as I, I sensed in my spirit that the reason the Lord brought the urgency of this, of this word is to let us know in the United States that he is not playing with the things that he is saying. I'm not saying that people are approaching the prophetic word um, without seriousness, even though there is that group of people that do not take anything that they hear either on this channel or any other channel seriously, but there's nothing I can do about that. I believe that the urgency that the Lord is bringing to this word is because the time is coming near for the unveiling of these things, either the full unveiling when we actually experience them for real, or the partial unveiling where we start to see more of the frameworks that is currently hiding these things from view. The things that God reveals concerning Russia and China coming to the United States are things that many people absolutely cannot believe. And the reason that they cannot believe it is because they feel that the protective mechanisms of the United States, the army, the military as a whole are so powerful and so comprehensive and so all knowing that America could never suffer attack from any country. So there's a lot of people who would see the prophecies on the master's voice. There's currently about perhaps 15 of them. This one would make it about 16, 15 or 16 prophecies with the Lord God saying in clear and uncomplicated language that Russia and China will come to the United States. They will invade the land. They will completely overrun the territory. God has said that they have superior weaponry. So some of the weaponry that God has showed me, he has said that these guns have been developed in mostly China and that America has absolutely no idea that these two countries that she's constantly tussling with in the international space have weaponry that is this powerful. She doesn't know about it. And God says that when these arms are actually brought to market, America and her allies will completely remain in the dark about them. So one of the pictures that the Lord shows me, showed me in one of the prophecies, please forgive me because these prophecies are now so many that I cannot rem remember the name of each one, but I can remember images and things that I saw. And if you go to the blog and simply, for instance, put in phrases that I use, especially if you put in Russia or China or invasion, the prophecies will come up. And as you read them one by one, they build up until you can have a comprehensive picture. So one of the things that I saw is that China will become extremely advanced. They already are advanced now. But what God has revealed is that they are actually hiding how advanced they are. God showed me that they would break, they would make huge breakthroughs in terms of arms, in terms of technology until they become the absolute world leader in technology. So from the safe level, which is games, um, goggles and controllers and other types of toys, China will absolutely take over with perfect high quality stuff that they'll be producing. But at the high end, the dangerous end, God showed me that they would make incredible scientific breakthroughs, including something that I didn't know that people were working on now, which is being able to generate electricity from seawater. So that's in one of the prophecies that China will be able to generate proper large scale electricity from seawater. Another thing that they will be able to do in the future is make absolutely smokeless coal. So all this noise about global warming and pollution and this and that in the future, China will be able to burn coal with 
without any smoke. I saw that in the vision. They will also, along with Russia, have extremely powerful weapons. God called them tactical weapons. So if you go to the master's voice, just check the URL below. Everything for this ministry and everything for the blog itself is always in the description box, as, lo as well as a description for every day's video. God showed me that in the end, tactical weapons will be produced in China. And these weapons, he said, will be mass destroyers of human flesh. Now, when you say mass destroyers of human flesh, you're not talking about killing on a village scale or a small scale town. You are talking about the annihilation of cities. And this is what these nations have in store, what they are working on and what they are planning for the United States. Now you might ask, why would God allow this to happen to America? Why would God allow this to happen to the United States? What have we done that's so bad? A lot of people do come to the blog and ask this question, and my answer is always the same. The Lord has said that these are the judgments that will come upon the nation of the USA because of her sin. This is the sin series. And the only reason that God told me to make absolutely sure that I insert this video, which actually you could say belongs in the Russia and China series is because the Lord focused on the sin of America, how noxious the sin of America is in the nostrils of God, how unrepentant the nation is. Historically, when you look in the Bible, when God gives a nation over to be destroyed by her enemies, as he many times did because of Israel's hard-headedness and sinfulness, it's because that nation completely refuses to follow the laws of God. She wipes God off the slate completely. She does not want to adhere to his rules. She does not want to honor his personhood, meaning that she does not want to worship God. And then she raises up effigies or images of false gods and plants them all over the land so that the nation itself becomes polluted. There are a lot of people who come to this channel and say, but why is God being so cruel and I'm not the one sinning, so why is this going to happen to me and my family? What I can say to you is this, when judgment comes upon a nation, it comes upon a nation collectively. There is no sinless person in the United States. There is no person who does not have sin. The only difference and allowances that God is going to make are for people who confess the name of the Lord in spirit and in truth. That excludes all fake Christians. That excludes all people who think that between now and whenever these things happen, their only job is just to sit and stare up at the sky like lemmings and wait for the rapture. These things that I'm talking about precede the rapture. These fall into the categories of what I call natural prophecies. Natural prophecies are things that deal with contemporary everyday life, such as in Revelation chapter 6 when it says there will be wars and rumors of wars. It talks about the red horse riding in Revelation chapter 6, and in Matthew 24 is where it says, wars and rumors of wars. These things are not going to happen after any rapture. They are part of contemporary prophecy, meaning that the wise Christian is supposed to be preparing their heart, soul, mind, spirit, and family and general environment for these things now. So there is no sinless person in America and sin is collective. And that's one reason that judgment will come to this nation. Another reason is that the Lord has said that this is mystery Babylon, the hidden nation in prophecy and scripture that is said to be so sinful, so prideful, so lifted up and so abstinent from morality and righteousness that God will wipe this nation out in a single day. Scholars have argued for years as to the the, the name as to what the identity of this nation is, the Lord has said on this channel to me, and I have said it so many times, that this nation is mystery Babylon, that there is no mystery anymore. He has opened the mystery as to the identity of mystery Babylon and all the punishments that are stated in the book of Revelation concerning mystery Babylon are punishments that are going to fall on America. And so I go to the prophecy for today. 
The name of the prophecy is obvious as to what I'm going to be talking about. It is called, The Russians Will Take America. And I received this just three days ago on June the 27th, 2021. The banner scripture is one that God has been giving me for years. And I've shared in multiple times. I've had to read the scripture out on camera many times. I've had to explain it many times on the blog because this is a scripture that God has been giving me for years upon years upon years. And not only does he give it to me by the year, but he gives it to me every single week. So I hear this scripture sometimes multiple times a day as I'm doing other things, a propos of nothing. I won't be praying. Maybe I'm making a meal or maybe I'm working or maybe I'm reading a book. And this scripture will come and the full of it is Isaiah chapter nine, verses 10 to 12. But on this day, the Lord gave me verse 11. Verse 11 says, therefore the Lord shall set up the adversaries of resin against him and join his enemies together. And so what this scripture basically means is that God will raise up the enemies of a particular king and strengthen them himself. He will make them strong and he will join them together in such a fashion that they are very strong and united. They will have a particular integrity about them that makes them hard to push back against and hard to punch through and ultimately hard to beat. And so I don't know the timing of these things, but I know that it behooves us to listen to the Lord and prepare. Here is what God said. So I was praying and worshiping on the 27th. I was praying to God about my own things, but when the Lord came to speak to me, it had nothing to do about the songs that I had been singing to him. He was talking to me that and telling me that America is going to 100% fall to Russia. And he was giving me the reasons that he, God, will strengthen the Russians to take over America. God said that he will not help America at all. And he instructed me to make it very plain, both in the written prophecy, which I have done, and in the video, he said to leave no ambiguity that none of the judgments he has spoken against this nation through this ministry will fail. He said that he will strengthen Russia and he will bring Russia here after he has built up both Russia and all of America's enemies. God said that he would build them up until they ultimately are strong enough to fall on America and destroy her. And so one of the things that God has said is that the United States will be like Atlantis. And so I asked in the blog post and I ask it here on camera, who are the students of history and who are the ones who are very interested in what Atlantis was and how they felt? I said that I'm certainly not one of them because my day doesn't give me enough time to dig deeply into every topic that the Lord brings up. But from what I know of Atlantis, my interest is in why God would compare this modern day nation, America, the United States of America, to an ancient city, an ancient nation in a way, because sometimes the, the nations were just one big city. That was all it was in the ancient days. That nation of Atlantis was destroyed in a single day. In a single day, Atlantis went under the sea, never to be seen again. It was completely wiped off the map and there was absolutely no trace of it to this day. Archaeologists and scientists see Atlantis kind of like a, a Shangri-La. It was a perfect place. But one of the things that I as a Christian can tell just by reading lightly to know why God would be angry with the place is to find out what other practices they had. And Atlantis's sin was that she consorted with what we call the gods. The gods are these fallen creatures, fallen angels, aliens, and other ancient beings that were constantly coming to ancient civilizations and offering them technology that was far ahead of their time. 
Egypt was one such nation that received technology far ahead of their time, and the Atlanteans were others. They slept with these foreign beings. Atlantis was known to have brought forth hybrids. They had hybrid culture, hybrid people, hybrid rulers, and they also had hybrid technology, and they completely did every kind of abomination that God said not to do, such that God caused the sea to rise up like a sheet and cover that place in a single day. Nobody escaped. And so Atlantis's sin was mixing herself with basically what are demons and God did not tolerate that. And America in many different prophecies that I have brought on this blog has done the same. America has grievous sin of the humankind, such as same sex relationships that she has not only legalized here, but she's actively pushing for all over the world. There's fornication here. There's legalized abortion here that is also greatly championed by the United States all over the world. God has said that the people here are so selfish and so insular. They're always focused on themselves and how the nation can be number one, how they can take what even belongs to other people. And for that, God has said, and I have said it in, I think there's one prophecy that I can remember. <clears throat> Please excuse me. It's called fire. And in that, in that prophecy, as well as another prophecy called in one hour, God said that America will absolutely cease to exist. One of the things that I've seen is that the land mass of the United States tilted on the west side. So the California, Washington, Seattle side, the, na the nation tilted on that side and it went under the water just the way you put a dish plate in the water. You know when you fill the sink full of water and you're sliding the dishes in to let them soak for a little bit? America tilted and went under the sea on the west side of the continent. And another thing that I saw is that America broke off along San Francisco, San Andreas, I think. It broke off there like a cookie and, and then that piece that broke off just went underneath. Another thing that I've seen is that water will come very far inland of the country, very, very far inland. In that prophecy, God told me that many parts of the United States will be absolutely lost underwater. I saw very tall skyscrapers here on the New York side as well that went underwater. I don't know if the land broke off on this side or if it simply sank, but it, it kind of just went down. I just saw in the vision that it went down and the sea rushed in to fill that vacuum and filled everything. And there were skyscrapers, these very, very tall skyscrapers completely submerged. And so the reason that God says that America will be like Atlantis is not only for the sins that she has committed that makes her like Atlantis, but that she will be wiped from the map and she will cease to be a nation. America will become a footnote in history that will not be remembered anymore. People will ask, come on, did this place really exist? And the nation will be lost to time. So I hope that we can appreciate the gravity of what I'm saying here. One thing I've noticed that makes it difficult for people to hear and process prophecy is that as you are living your daily life and you are dealing with the daily things you have to deal with, it becomes very difficult for people to wrap their minds around the large scale mind boggling things that God is saying, such as an entire nation will be completely defeated and then wiped away. It gets really hard for people to process that, but I hope that you will do your best to take these prophecies in prayer to the Lord because the Lord keeps saying these things. And whenever God keeps bringing the same message over and over, it tells me two things. The first thing is that he is absolutely serious about what he is saying. He will not take it back. He will not reverse it. It will not go away no matter how much we pray fast and cry. It is what we call a fixed judgment and it will not pass away.
The second thing is God will continually bring a message over and over with urgency when people are not listening. So when people see things like this and they just take it anyhow and they laugh and say, have you seen the Navy? Have you seen the Air Force? We could destroy the Russians. I'm here to tell you in this prophecy and in several others, you cannot destroy the, the Russians. God says that the Russian discipline leaves America in the dust. He says that the Chinese discipline and dedication makes America's way of training its soldiers laughable. And that when soldiers meet, especially ground forces, meet combat to combat, the American forces will be easily defeated because the other side will have skill, cunning, and even willingness to die for their purpose and their mission. So I read the prophecy out. The Russians are coming and they will take up the territory of America. They will take up the land, the sea, and the air. They will take control of the land mass, the sea channels, and all the airways of the United States. They will be lord and master over America with complete and total control over everything, especially telecommunications and all forms of media. They will take over broadcasting across the nation and they will speak their own things to America and this nation will be desolate. A coup from within, says the Lord, an insurrection, and then America falls and becomes a slave to her enemy. This is the revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so the Lord was saying multiple things to me and I will try to get through all of them so that the video will not be too long. God said that Russia would have multiple allies when she comes here. He said that America is not prepared for a ground war and she cannot compete with the training and the dedication of other nations in terms of how their ground forces are trained. The Lord said that being arrogant is not how you win ground wars, but by having skill and selflessness in times of combat. The other nations are very cohesive in their training and they will outwit America by their size of forces, meaning how many soldiers they're going to bring here, by their speed, by their cunning, and also because they will have superior weaponry in the end times. He said that multiple countries will contribute to the ground forces that come here and their footprints will cover America from one end to another. The Lord said that the United States will become a colony. I have said this before and I explained what a colony is. A colony is when one country takes over another country. It doesn't only mean that they take over the physical landmass and they take control of the people. Colonization means that you impress or you press upon a captive people your way of thinking, your way of life, your beliefs, your morality, your way of doing things, and you utterly remove the habits, the culture, and the belief systems of the people that you have conquered. So the Lord says that America will be run by Russian rules, Russian mandates, and the Russian way of life. Anyone who does not obey these things will be eliminated with efficiency. You will see Russian language spoken, Russian values in operation, and the Russian way of life. If you do not agree, you will be removed. Americans will have to speak Russian by force or they will lose their lives trying. I, the Lord, will strengthen Russia and I will strengthen their God-ordained leader. I will take his hand and I will reach it out to pluck America the way someone plucks a ripe fruit and it will be his for the taking. Nothing will be denied him. He will be allowed to gaze over the whole land and choose the best of it for his people and himself. The next thing that God revealed was tactically how this will happen. Russian soldiers will converge on America from all sides in a pincer move, meaning that they will arise on the east and the west coast simultaneously and take the country in a choking grip. Now, when God said this to me, I saw the map of America lying flat. So it was a, there's a map and it was America. And then all of a sudden, 
a big red crab, a big, big red crab ran up to the map and put its hands on both sides of the country like this. And then it squeezed. So you know how crabs have those very painful claws. It came running up with those claws and it put its arms around America on both sides like this and it squeezed. And when it did that, I saw little lightning bolts appear all over the United States. You know, when you're watching a cartoon and you see that lightning bolt, it means the cartoon is feeling pain in the head or maybe in the heart. The lightning bolt indicates shock and surprise and pain. And that's what I saw. The next thing the Lord said is that Russian soldiers will settle here and they will take the best of the land, the homes, the assets, and everything else for themselves. The phrase the Lord used is occupied territory. And he said that America will be just like France and Hungary were to Germany in World War II. The Lord even said that Europe will fall to the power of Russia in the last days. And the, the bear, which is the, the prophetic term for Rus Russia, he said the bear will sweep over her own continent like a broom and she will take back a lot of territory that she had lost in the past. And so you can find out more about Russia overtaking Europe in the prophecy on the master's voice called Mirror, Mirror. Best way to use the blog is go to the blog, look at the search box at the very bottom of the blog, under the comment section, and then type in the names of the prophecies that I've used in this video and other videos, and that can help you catch up on your reading much faster. The next thing God said is that the Soviet Union will rise again, but it will be a lot bigger than it was before because many countries will willingly join Russia. So many, many countries will join with Russia in the end times and willingly become part of a federation that will be the new Soviet Union. But God also said that Russia will produce and own much new territory that she didn't have before. And one of the countries that God said that Russia will take is the nation of France. So he said that countries that have never historically been Russian at all will fall. And this is the word of the Lord. He then went on to say that nobody can hold power unless he knows about it. So no one holds power and no one holds authority in any capability whatsoever unless God allows it. He said to me, look and see how long one man has ruled Russia and ask yourself, could he have lasted so long as the sole leader if I, the Lord, had not strengthened him? I will strengthen the bear. It will sit up with three ribs in its mouth and consume much flesh. And this is the prophecy of Daniel. I don't know the chapter, but it talks in the book of Daniel. It might be Daniel chapter seven about the bear, the one bear, one of the four beasts that had three ribs in its mouth and it sat up and a voice said to it, consume much flesh. And so the Lord used the same phrase in the prophecy. I will strengthen the bear and it will sit up with three ribs in its mouth and consume much flesh. Arise, says the Lord, consume much flesh, consume to the east and to the west and all that is before you. I set a table before you, Russia, and the meal that you will eat is America. There's a prophecy on the blog where I actually saw that America was depicted as a meal by the Lord. And this meal was served continuously to Russia and China. And they consumed and consumed and consumed this meal. And Germany and France sat at the table and did not eat any of the meal, but China and Russia ate third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh helpings, and they still were not full. America was at that meal, but she was utterly clueless that she was the meal being served to these two nations. It's called dinner at the UN. Come with your armory and with your tanks, come with your warplanes and subdue the land of the free. Bring your moral code and separate the moral from immoral in America. Come and set the foundation stones on fire. I, the Lord, command you, light this nation up from its length and its breadth and take everything in it as the spoil, 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 take it all, even the people, number them, catalog them, take them away as captives to the four corners of the world and make them work 
in brick and mortar as they made my people work. They were not merciful to my people, therefore no mercy shall be shown to them. For those generations who sinned before them, so will the land be captured now. And for the sin of its current inhabitants, meaning the sin that each person is sinning now in America, I the Lord will repay, for their sins are overflowing before me. They are loveless and selfish, cowardly and unmerciful. They are scheming and they have no love for their neighbor. Therefore, I will destroy them out of the land I gave them, and I will drive them out to be servants and servants and slaves in other lands. The survivors will lament and they will constantly be forced to tell their story. They will have no rest from being asked, what happened to your country? And what did you do for the Lord to strike you people so? And so I will just go back up and cover a few. The Lord says that Russia should come with its armory and with its tanks, and it should bring its moral code. And with that moral code, Russia should separate the immoral from the moral in America. The Lord has constantly said that because of the sexual immorality in the nation of the United States, the particular characteristics of the captivity and the invasion of this nation will be that people will be captured and their clothing will be removed I've said multiple times that I have seen naked people in zip ties being lined up in processing centers and then in some cases put on ships and shipped out of the country. I know that nobody wants to hear this. However, I'm not here for popularity's sake. I'm here to be absolutely true to the prophetic words that the Lord has given me. One of the reasons that God said that he will do this is because that people in America can't keep their clothes on. So they're constantly revealing more than they should. They spend all their time pushing sexual content, consuming sexual content, and trying to be sexual content themselves. Another reason that the Lord said that he will do that is that because America practices many, many sexual perversions in this country, chief of them, the homosexual lifestyle, but other others such as pedophilia and bestiality and also um, ritual sexual practices that they do when they're conducting secret masses and um, human sacrifice and things like that, including sleeping with the dead. For that reason, God says that just because America crosses the line with sexuality, her punishment will also be in sexuality. And so the clothes that Americans don't want to wear will be stripped off them. And I repeat what I have said in multiple prophecies, you will be naked in front of who you don't want to be naked in front of. God has said, that when these people come, they know that a man is a man and that a woman is a woman. They will not tolerate this blurring of genders that America pushes and advocates for. They will not tolerate this, I'm both at the same time, or I'm one on Tuesday, but you can call me a woman on Wednesday, and then I'll go back to being a man on Friday. The Lord says that they, will, they had absolutely no tolerance for that. And in the visions that I saw, people who practiced this lifestyle suffered terribly. They were put to death in large numbers, and only a very small amount of them were kept and shipped overseas because there was a demand for them. There were people overseas who liked to be male with male, and so people were shipped over to fill that demand, or female with female. female. They were shipped overseas to fill that demand, but for the most, time, most part, people who practiced that lifestyle were treated very poorly here. A lot of them lost their lives, and they were also abused greatly um, sexually. So if you have ears to hear these things and you think that I come on this camera just to say things because I have nothing to do during the week except to put this camera on and make videos and talk about what I don't know, I really don't know what else to say. I'm going to be true to what God shows me to the very last. And when I have made the last video, they will stay here as a testament to my faithfulness to God and he will be the one to bring them to pass in his own timing. So the last thing was that the Lord said to list out the sins 
before people. So the sin of murder, the punishment, capital punishment. The sin of abortion, the punishment, capital punishment. The sin of abandonment and abuse of minors, capital punishment. The Lord said that there will be no reprieve or forgiveness for this. If you have committed it, the millstone will be put around your neck and cast into the sea. The sin of same-sex perversions, the punishment, captivity, rape, and capital punishment. If you have committed this sin and you have not repented, a yoke will be placed around your neck and you will be taken where you do not want to go to serve masters you do not want to serve. A drunken cup will be served to you and with the same energy that you have defiled yourself by practicing this lifestyle, the Lord says that you will also be defiled in return. The sin of human sacrifice, the punishment, capital punishment. The sin of eating the flesh of humans, the punishment, death, capital punishment. All who eat the flesh of men and drink their blood know that you have defiled the temple of the ever living God, meaning that you have defiled the body of another person. You have also defiled your own temple and defiled what I, God, have made. To all who eat people in cannibalism and occultism, I am the Lord. I will repay you to your bosom and to the bosom of your seed for this sin. To those who practice man to man, woman to woman, I will not forgive this sin in the day of my judgment. Even if you scream and cry your repentance to me in that day, you will not be forgiven. You will be repaid in full for this, even if you committed it in your old age or your youth. If you have not said sorry and laid aside this abomination in the day that my judgment comes to this nation, you will bear the penalty for this in your flesh, in full. And so I have read out everything that the Lord has given me. And all I will say is this, as we go through this series, I am going to be reading out some very strong and very graphic things. I strongly advise to everyone that if you do not think that repentance is something you need to practice daily, even as a Christian, or that you need to walk in and find the Lord if you are not a Christian, my advice to you is to take the Lord's words to heart, begin to study what pleases God, give your life to God and come over from the side of whatever it is that you want to do, where you are the Lord of your own experiences, you are the king of your own life, and recognize that these things have come to their useful end for you. I repeat, sin has no useful end for the human being. The only thing it will do is continue to widen the gap between you and God until the day that the Lord's judgments fall suddenly and without warning. Thank you for being on this channel. I am Celestial. This is the Master's Voice. You can find everything about my ministry by looking in the description box below. Please subscribe to the channel. Please follow me on Rumble. All that information will be below. Help me to spread the word by sharing these videos prayerfully as you are led. And until I see you again, take care and goodbye.